Our next item is item three, public comment on items not on this agenda. It is the Council's policy to refer matters raised in this forum to staff for investigation and or action where appropriate. The Brown Act prohibits the Council from discussing or acting upon any matter not agendized pursuant to state law. Would anyone like to address the Council? <laughs> yes, please. Please state your name and street. Yes, Marty Medina, Garden Avenue, uh, 2013 City Council candidate. I want to uh, apologize for missing the last uh, City Council meeting. I was out of town. I promised to uh, take a vacation regardless of the election outcome. <laughs> but I'm here tonight to uh, publicly uh, congratulate Councilman Ibarra and Medina for their re-election. Uh, it, it was a good race. Um, I want to also acknowledge the effort of candidate Andrew Mason. Um, and although only 20% of the registered voters cast their ballots, I respect the voters' choice. This is what America's about. You get a chance to say something, vote for who you want. If it doesn't work out, well, you try again, but at least I'm here to acknowledge uh, and thank, thank everybody for their support. Um, the split in the votes for the incumbents and myself, the incumbents and Andrew and myself were approximately 61% to 39%. I'm hoping the council seriously considers ways to reduce our utility rates. As you know, that was my primary uh, stance, and I, I know we can do this, but we just have to do things differently. And I know it's your night tonight, but I, I have to thank uh, my family for the effort and support they provided for me with Jeanette and my son Max, and for my brothers, sisters, nieces, nephews, and everybody else, and especially to the 1,764 voters who took a chance and voted for me. So with that, uh, I just wanted to congratulate Councilman Abar and Thank you. Would anyone else like to address the council? <laughs>